Hey, good afternoon to you. I'm CBS 19 Weather Authority Meteorologist David Reese. Sorry for cutting into programming here, but we do have a tornado warning in effect for northwestern Albemarle County that goes in effect until 445. It is in effect for the next 15 minutes here. Here's a live look at that storm. This does not, again, this does not include the city of Charlottesville does not include those of us at Lake Monticello. It does not include those of us in Rutgers, though. This is just for a tiny sliver of northwestern Albemarle County for a little bit of rotation that was seen on radar about 15 minutes or so ago. You can see some of that rotation. This is passing to the north of Millington. Here's Free Union Road giving an early heads up for those of us near Earliesville. If you live in and around Earliesville, Take your tornado precautions right now. What are those tornado precautions? Getting into the interior most section of your house, put as many walls between yourself and the outside. Get underneath a staircase, if that's at all possible. Get into an interior closet. Mm -hmm. Southeastern Green County in Central Virginia. This is a serious warning. At 4.54 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Free Union, Oregon, nine miles northwest of Charlottesville, moving northeast at 10 miles per hour. This is a very dangerous storm. Oh dear. Hazard, 80 miles per hour wind gusts and golf ball size hail. Holy crap. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect considerable damage to trees and power lines, especially near Free Union and Earlisville. Your life is at significant risk if outdoors. Oh my goodness. In addition to some trees falling into homes, wind damage is possible to roofs, sheds, open garages, and mobile homes. Locations impacted include... Okay, no hail. Um, uh, it just sounds different from what we've been used to. That is all. So, um, hearing it on the uh, roof, no hail? No. Okay. Uh, it was just sounding rough. Okay. Fortunately, tornado warning has just expired for the city of Charlottesville. So, National Weather Service, we have not gotten anything else to kind of signify that. So, we're going to wrap up coverage here of uh, tornado coverage. So, everybody, uh, associated with the five o'clock news, I'm going to give you it. It's so close to the shed. I'm wondering, did it go underneath the shed and pull it up? I have to ask Eric sometime how that worked out. All right, so we're at Eric Sellers' house and just looking at this uh, large tree that has come down and how it was just sitting next to the shed but um fortunately really just did a little mental damage to the shutter of it wow so this was after the recent storm and uh just to get an idea about how big the root, the root ball is big tree shame and uh, these trees they have a, a wide root but if you look it's just not very deep it doesn't have like a tap root or anything to hold it in the ground
this is the tree and it looks like it's an oak tree like a red oak and i can't imagine how old it is make sure you get the other side oh yes top. yes so we had this storm come through it's crazy our trash can out the front of the driveway never moved oh my god and then there's this, this. Uh, you know and and in the backyard the wind was so strong that we got a white out couldn't even look out the windows Albemarle County, but CBS 19 News, the National Weather Service confirms that a tornado touched down in Albemarle County earlier this month. According to the National Weather Service, the EF0 tornado touched down in the Earliesville area on August 6 around 4.50 p.m. It had an estimated maximum wind speed of 80 miles per hour, and its path on the ground was very short at just 0.1 miles. The tornado touched down in the area of Broadus Wood Elementary School, and uprooted and snapping several trees. There were also intense straight line winds that resulted in downed trees across the Free Union, Earliesville, and Hollymead areas. There were two tornadoes spawned by the storm, with an EF0 tornado also touching down in Augusta County around 4 p.m. No one was hurt in either tornado.